This video demonstrates the process to download parts using the Ultra Librarian Free Reader in Zookin CR5000 or CR8000 format. From a high level, the process involves downloading and installing Ultra Librarian software, selecting the component to be downloaded, exporting the ASCII data and the 3D step model for the component, then converting the ASCII data to CR5000 or CR8000 format, merging the new component data into the Zookin library, and then finally QCing and releasing. After we download and install the Ultra Librarian Free Reader, we select the option to continue free. We're now ready to download a component from a website or a database. In this example, we're going to use the Accelerated Designs database. First, we'll select Download from Websites and Databases. Then we'll select the Select Components from the Accelerated Designs database option. We'll select the component that we are interested in downloading and then we'll add select it to library. We then select exit component database. In the step two portion of the form, we're going to select 3D step model, unselect Caden concept HDL if it is selected, and then select Zookin CR5000 slash CR8000. Then in step three, we're going to select export to selected tools. The export log details the export path along with the instructions on how to convert the ASCII export data to Zookin CR5000 or CR8000 format. At this point, we can close Ultra Librarian and move on to the portion of the process that involves converting the ASCII data into Zookin CR5000 or CR8000 format. The first thing you can do is move or copy the step model or the .stp file to the proper folder within the Zookin library. Next, we'll navigate to the ASCII export path and run the import ASCII.bat. The script will prompt us to select either CR5000 Component Manager or CR8000 Component Editor, and to also select either CR5000 System Designer or CR8000 Design Gateway. Once both are selected, the conversion process begins with any issues captured in the error-log.txt file. We can now move the symbol to the proper symbol folder within the Zookin library, and we can also open the symbol and add any company specific information. Next we need to open either Component Manager or Component Editor and update the footprint layer mapping to company specific layer mapping. To do so we'll drag and drop the FTP or footprint file created by the import ASCII.bat into the Component Manager or Component Editor canvas. We can then change the object view to footprint and use tools define footprint layer to help us change the layer names to company specific layer names and then save. Once the layer mapping is completed, it's important to close component manager or component editor in order to reset the library. We'll then reopen components manager or component editor and begin the process of merging the part package and footprint download it using Ultra Librarian into the Zookin library. To do so, we'll use the Compare Objects functionality. We'll start with the footprint and then move on to the package and part. We'll set the reference library to the .ftp that we previously created and set the destination library to the Zookin library. We'll then change the output object to object having different contents and select Execute. We'll then use Utilities, Transfer Object to Copy CDB Library to move the new footprint into the existing footprint library. We'll follow the same set of steps for the package. So the first thing we do is change environment to compare package library. As before, we'll set the reference library, the destination library, and then run execute. As before, the new package is identified, and we'll use utility transfer objects to copy CDB library to move the new package into the library. Finally, we're ready to bring in the part, so we'll use environment compare part library, and as before, 
set the reference library, the destination library, and then select execute. As before, we'll use the utility to transfer the object to the copy CTB library, and a new part is added to the library. At this point, the new component is ready to be checked and released.